I want to start with um, reiterating, I, I was a Rotarian for many years, and it is certainly my pleasure to be here. Um, you are a lively bunch, and I appreciate that. Um, I like that you meet at lunchtime. That makes sense for um, those of us with families to be home at night and still get the business part and the social part of uh, Rotary taken care of during the day. Um, I'm going to try to educate you a little bit, um, not only about the YMCA of Montclair, but the YMCA in general as an organization. It is a worldwide movement, and it was founded in London, England in 1844. And it was created because there were so many young men who um, were working and um, probably after work hours started getting into some trouble, and um, they needed a place to go after work to um, socialize appropriately and not get in more trouble. So they created a lot of Bible study and book reading and more passive activities to um, pass the time. And then they realized the importance of recreation and um, physical activity. And from that, we have the spirit, mind, and body. And that's the triangle that we all know of that the YMCA logo has had. Even though the logo has changed in the past year, the triangle still remains. If you notice on my name badge, there's still a triangle in it, even though the logo has changed. Um, and it's the spirit, mind, and body of um, <laughs> equilateral sides of those three important pieces to your life to find balance. So now you can pass forward to where we are now, and it's hard to find um, balance in those three places, even when you walk into the YMCA. So we have changed. Um, we uh, try to adapt to the needs of the community, and that really is our mission, is to meet the needs of the, the community as it grows. And to evolve in that way is really important before you get left behind. Um, a lot of you might know that maybe five or six years ago, we um, closed down our housing that was at the Park Street facility. The 34th floor used to be all housing for men. And it wasn't lucrative, and we weren't doing it well as the numbers started to dwindle, and so you have to make that tough decision. If you're not doing it well, you shouldn't be doing it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have a third and fourth floor attic <laughs> because we haven't done anything with it yet. And um, just like any open space in anyone's home, you say, oh, we'll just put that there. Yeah. Yeah. So we have two floors of that kind of stuff. 